right, you can stop asking me, what car have I got? What car is it? Alex, tell me. I'm going to show you now, all right? It's there. You can't see what it is yet, but I'm going to show you, all right? So just keep on and watch the end of the video and you'll see what I've got. Say hello, Rambo. Right, thanks for tuning in. Before I can show you what car I have, let me tell you a little bit of backstory. From a very young age, cars have always caught my eye. Whether it's watching an episode of Top Gear or watching a Fast and Furious movie, there was something that always fascinated me with these four wheels and metal driving around and just making a loud, loud noise that just attracted everything that I liked about them. It wasn't until one morning I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace when something caught my eye. Something that I really, really wanted. Maybe even a dream car. The only issue was, this car was all the way in Ramsgate and if you know the distance between Ramsgate and Cornwall it's not quite up the road I mean it's from the east coast to the west coast but I didn't care if I was gonna do it I might as well go for it that I decided you know what fuck it I could die tomorrow if I'm gonna go down I might as well have my dream car so I bought it and that brings us to today and obviously why you've clicked this video because you guys want to know what I've bought so, it's 2 litre, it's all wheel drive, it's black, and it's an import. Introducing my Mitsubishi Evo 7. So guys, this is my 2001 Mitsubishi Evo 7. It's a GSR model, so it stands for Grand Sport Racing, I believe, and it's a five-speed box. What I hear from the Evo people, that is usually the best box to go for. It can hold a lot of power. Um, I went with black, because I thought black cars are always better. But let me take you around. So we've got the number plate on the front, as you can see. So Y reg, um, headlights, they do need a buff. Because you can see here, someone's tried to give it a go, but it doesn't look very nice. Not as good as me. No, definitely not. Uh, you've got the front end here, the grille. It's quite nice. A lot of people don't like the sevens from the way that they look with the body shape, but I quite like it. You've got air coming in here, in there, in there. It's quite nice. Even the little ducts there as well. It's quite nice. You've got the hood, the American call, the hood. Obviously the bonnet. You've got the cutouts there, and you've got here as well. The inside of the car here. Quite nice little bucket seats. Let's, let's see what it's like. Oh. And Rambo? Go on, Rambo, in you get. <laughs> Alright then, go, go. Oh. Whoa! Got old school Woodstock radio. Got Evo on the dashboard there. It's quite nice. It's got this lovely Momo steering wheel. It does look very nice. And the indicator on the right, a bit weird, isn't it? You know? It's a tad bit. Back seats in here. You got a Rambo. He's just chilling. You piss in that car. You it's in there. It's, in, it's in nice. So, inside the car, nice, spacious. For an old car, it's quite nice. You've got the buckets, they hug you quite nicely. Stereo, climate control, AC that doesn't work. I'll see you later, mate. We've got this in here. Let's see. What we got? What we got? We've got a headlight restorer or sealer. He's obviously not used that very well. Oh, oh, yo, we got some bait. <laughs> What's he doing? Oi. Hey, what are you doing up there, boy? <laughs> <laughs> got a nasty ass rag. <laughs> oh, we got some, we got some groovy lighters. Look at that. What's in here then? Oi. My guy's been to the arcade, boy. Jeez. Look, this is the perfect care for me, you and Rambo. 
right? It's a family car. It's a family car. Plenty of boot space. It's loads of space in here. You know, family car. Love and life for the boy. The boy. And look at this. Driving like a 30 driver right now. Elbow delete. Elbow delete. Yeah, boy, look <laughs> at that. I don't need no opening. It's a bot in here. Is that I, NOS? No, I wish it was NOS. This squirts the intercooler with water, cools it down, which is quite cool. Um, what's in here? Oh, oh, come on, some chewy guns. What else have we got? Um, we've got a bulb. What's this? Oh, Japanese flare. Not like hey. I'll ever have to use it, but look, it's all that in is Japanese. Sick. Yeah, came with the car, Japanese. Oh, got a radio, instructions. That I will not be reading. That's a bulb. What is this? Is this the case the flare came in? Imagine this is spectacles. That must be that. Yeah, that's sick. Well, there you go then. There we go, we've got a Japanese flare. Oh, he's in Jap. That's kind of... Yeah, there's Jap here as well. So, we've got 17-inch Enki alloys from factory. State-of-the-art, light material. Look at the weight. Uh, brakes are a little bit faded. They're not looking good, bruv. But... Not looking good, bruv. Got a lovely set of tyre, so proxies on that boy. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got the big... One. This thing is sick. I do like it. This Explain why, why. Because it just it's there. You can eat your food off of it. You can sit on the boot. And what else can you do with it? Uh, oh, sorry. Let me let me just explain. Panel comes off there. It's fully adjustable. So you take this bad boy off, and you can adjust that bad boy any way you like. More down power, is More it? More downforce, boy. More downforce, the better. Look how long it is. Boing. I don't like that, and I don't like that. This is so annoying. It's not centered, and it looks stupid. And it's crusty. Look at that. Ooh, listen to it. You know it's 23 years old when it makes that noise. But yeah, anyway. Tinted windows on the front. That's the back. On the back and the front. Uh, they're a little bit dark. As you can probably see, let's just jump in. <laughs> I guess you can't see me, can you? No, I can't see you at all. Can't see me? Sorry, officer. I didn't see you. Can't see you at all. Sorry, officer. Uh, the, the factory. Anyway, but yeah, these Evos are the third generation. Obviously, you've got the fourth one being the X or the 10. I prefer these shapes. Seven, eight, nines, beautiful. I do like the fives and the sixes and everything in between, but I just love it. The, just the sleek design, the headlights, bumper, the way that the bonnet comes down quite nicely like this. It's just beautiful. Bloody Anthem as a pig in shit. He popped the boot in this bad boy. We've got some <laughs> tools, got a jack, got a genuine HKS, Oil filter, banging. Got an air box. That's where that one went. Oh, it's had a big old crack repaired on there. Boy, oh no. Um, we've got what looks like part of a harness in the boot. Right. Intercooler pipe it. And then we've got some um, what looks like fluid. They're expensive, and they like sixty quid. Yeah. Spin. That's banging bats. It's lovely. Look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Pretty big boot, that. It is. You could, I reckon you could fit in there. I reckon I could murder someone. You're not even filming me. Oh. I reckon I could kill someone and hide them in your boot and frame you. Frame me? Sure can. It? Well, I'm named on it too. How about I murder you and put you in here? How about... Let me pop the bonnet. All you Americans in the hood. Well, most of you that already know, but this is for the people that don't know. Underneath this is a two litre turbocharged inline four that produces 280 horsepower. Obviously all, all different models make different power. This one's got the FQ280, um, it's quite nice. But this has been mapped to about 350. 350, 350 I think. That was in 2001, so cool change. You're probably wondering, 
Uh, I'm missing something here. But don't worry, because we found the problem. Ear is the slave cylinder, which connects and activates and engages the clutch. You can see here that is fluid or dried up fluid. This boy is cracked. Not looking good, bro. Not looking good, bro. So that's the reason why this pedal is like this. Ready? Oh, oh my clutch. Not ready. One more time, one more time. It's gone. It's non existent. Anyway, so yeah, plan is get that clutch working again. She's a bit knacked. And then, um, yeah, looking at anything in the future mod wise. So you guys let me know, because like, this is the first project car. Obviously, we've got the Fez, but like, majority of the stuff has been done to that. So now we've got one for the channel. And this is very different from this our is Ford. This is different. You know, we've got our Jap people here now. And now we've got our track car focus people as well. But this is this is good. But I like this a lot. So See, we like this, we love this. But this is just track use now, is it? Probably. The thing is I could strip this bad boy all out. I got this now that I could work on, you know? I wanna make this all nice. I wanna get the paintwork done up, all the bits on the engine bay, the rocker cover, you know, just little bits to clean it up generally. Um, I reckon you keep both cars. This depends. I see you always want it. You guys let go. Should I get rid of this? Make mods for that? Or or do I keep both of them? And then this track use and this show this could use. Be track. This could be the road. Do not want to ruin this. I want to try and keep this as like an OEM plus. I don't want to do absolutely loads. If you bark one more time, and then hopefully. This girl will be back on the road because I can't wait to take you guys out for a POV drive in this because this is great. I love this. This is also great. I love this. But you have to do so much to that to even get it on that kind of level. Like, I don't know what it is about this. People have always gone on about driver's car, you know, this, that, the other, you know. But I can understand from where people are coming from now. Since I drove this, I drove from Ramsgate to Cornwall, well, Exeter, before she broke down. This thing was insane. It just ate up corners. I wasn't even hammering it, and it felt good to drive, you know? Just like a driver's car. This is obviously for like road use, but it's also like a sports package that Ford's made. But this, I just, there's, there's no words. That's all I'm gonna leave you guys on. You guys let me know what mods you want me to do this in the future. You guys let me know in the next video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Come to party, I just came to get my money